Brianna's breaking her silence about being in an exclusive relationship with her billionaire boyfriend and wanting babies. I look forward to all of the pregnancy rumors after this interview. We finally confirmed to Vogue she and Hassan Jamil have been an item for quite some time. She, without a doubt, wants kids and has a chill life with him in London. I like to take walks, cook. Those are my favorite things to do here. Very, very basic. Her playful side came out talking to Anna Winter after ditching her Met Ball this year and another big event. Is the Super Bowl halftime show something that you would be willing to entertain? Actually, this is my first time hearing about the Super Bowl since last Super Bowl. While confirming she refused this year because of the NFL controversy, Riri also seemingly shades headliners Maroon 5 saying, quote, I just couldn't be a sellout. I couldn't be an enabler. Next, Gwen speaks out after news broke. She's leaving The Voice. I have a strong opinion about things that I like and I don't like. The 50-year-old was rehearsing for her Vegas residency yesterday with boyfriend Blake when we learned her Sin City gig is why she's leaving the NBC hit where they met. Gwen tells Shape she's trying to find balance in her life. And that's nearly impossible when you're a mother of three boys. Gwen credits Blake for helping, especially after her divorce, calling him one of the greatest gifts. It's incredible to have a best friend like that guy. Now to fierce females opening up about overcoming obstacles. Never accept no. If I'd accepted no, I would have stopped when I was 14. And they were like, no, you're too tall. And I said, oh, but, um, and I talked my way in. Nicole, Zendaya, and Gwyneth are among 10 diverse ladies honored in Elle magazine's Women in Hollywood issue. I was about 19 and I lost a movie part to somebody else. And I started to feel like, oh, the girl who got it isn't even that good. And my mother was like, stop right there. Don't ever, ever disparage another woman. 